Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, you guys, so I wanted to do an update on this whole love and hip-hop Hollywood mess. So if you guys don't know, once again, April Jones has made the blogs because of her ratchet-ass behavior. So what's going down now is that basically in the new promo for Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, she starts talking about, you know, her relationship with Omarion, how it's non-existent, how he's not a good parent and everything else. And then she starts talking about Little Fizz and how her and Little Fizz are really good friends. And then basically goes on to say that she has no problem fucking Little Fizz and and that little fizz is deserving of her damn coochie, okay? This entire situation is a hot damn mess. Y'all go ahead and chat this interview and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Well, season six is my comeback season. I feel like what they can expect is just the real April. You know, I feel like when I was on Love and Hip Hop before, I was in a relationship, I was pregnant, I couldn't really have fun. I wasn't really filmed with all the other cast members. So this is me finally, you know, as a mom, but stepping back into the LA life, working, hustling, and you know, getting my groove back. Oh, exactly. Me and Drew's relationship is a friendship. When it pertains to me dealing with the father of my children and how difficult it has been, he's stepped in. You know, he sees the way that Omari doesn't communicate or how when he does communicate, it's very ignorant at times. And you know, he feels bad for me. Me and him are as close as we are because he's dealing with someone who's almost similar to his children. You know, we have that compatibility, you know, in both dealing with the mother and father of our children. Because we've talked about how we feel about one another, that we would definitely want to be smart in how we maneuver. So therapy and sh like that before, uh-uh. Can't just be just hopping up into no relationship. No thanks, no thanks. But I'm not opposed to him, is that what you gonna say? I mean, I'm not, a bitch needs some and I'd rather give it to a person that's my friend as opposed to someone who's just a guy that I'm knowing. He's deserving of the pussy. Let's just be really honest. Drew is definitely deserving of the pussy if I decide to give it to him one day, I would be proud of that because I have given guys my vagina that don't deserve it. He deserves it. I deserve it, hell. Honey. All right, so you guys just watched that video. This entire situation is just a hot damn mess. At this point, April is single-handedly generating buzz for this ratchet-ass show, okay? Everybody's talking about April and her antics, not only online, but now in these promos. And I believe she's doing all of this for attention. Yes, I do believe wholeheartedly she's fucking the shit out of Fizz, okay? I mean, they're taking pictures in the bedroom together. She's all hugged up and kissing on him. The entire situation is crazy, but I believe the reason why she's trying to turn it up why she's saying that she wants to be a different April than what we saw before. Before she was more demure, she was more classy. You know, a lot of people really liked her because we thought she carried herself a certain way. The only person who saw through the bullshit was Omarion's mom. Omarion's mom was not here for none of the April bullshit. She saw April for who she was and she called it out. I'm gonna go ahead and play you guys this flashback. Go ahead and check this out. Talk, I can't have April stressing, you know, while she's pregnant. So my mom is just gonna have to chill. Mom, I when you tell someone that you feel like they're not equipped or ready for parenthood or being a mother, mm -hmm. you know, that's disrespectful. I find nothing disrespectful about that. I'm just telling you how I feel from what I see. All I hear is like, I can't wait to get in the gym. Ooh, I want my stomach flat. Ooh, I want what's this, I that? want that. It's nothing wrong with that, Omari. The fact of the matter is, that's not what's Mom, important. Come on. Omari, First of all, you know what? Hold on, hold let me on. ask you a question. Did you not change when you saw my face? Did things not change for you? Absolutely. But exactly. I, so what yeah, makes so you think that I, things won't no. change because, when she sees because, her child's face? Because of her personality. That's what makes me think. But you don't even her, know her that well. I know her enough, Omari. I'm a woman. I'm a female, on, too. Man. I know how females roll. Omarion may be fooled by April, but not me. I know April to be selfish and materialistic. Not good qualities for a mother. She has a lot of growing up to do. I'm just saying it how I see it. All right, so you guys just saw what Omari's mom, Leslie, had to say about April. So I believe the reason why April is turning it up is because she's trying to be Monice's replacement. If you guys do not know, they're getting rid of a lot of people on Love & Hip Hop Hollywood. So this is what's being stated on the blog. Y'all go ahead and check this out. So they're saying that Tierra Marie, Brooke Valentine, Marcus Black, L.A. Britney have all been fired from Love & Hip Hop Hollywood. The current cast includes Ray J, Princess Love, K. Michelle, and her surrogate, 
B2K, April Jones, April Watts, Lyrica Anderson, A1 Bentley, and Yo-Yo the Rapper, Mickey Monday, Zell Swag, Mr. Ray have also signed on as supporting cast members. And then the T is that Moniece, this would be her last season that they're trying to fade her out. So somebody wrote on um, the Love & Hip Hop Instagram page, they were saying, why aren't you in the promos at Moniece Slaughter? And Moniece replied back, she says, it's my last season, they're fading me to black. All right, so you guys just heard me read that. So I believe this is why April is turning up. She knows that if she doesn't bring the ratchetness and the heat, they will fade her to black like they did when she was on here before with Omarion. You know what I'm saying? She basically got written off the show. People moved on. And now she's trying to go back to this show. And, and she wants to make her persona more memorable. So she's trying to go the ratchet route. But to me, in the long run, that's not going to benefit her. At this point, she's just looking like a joke. As pretty as she is, she does not need to go down this route. And I think that it's not a good look for her, especially being that she's a mother of not one but two kids and a mother of a little girl you know while you're busy bragging about you know who deserves the cooch and you know a fucking little fizz it's just it just looks really tacky because again Omarion and little fizz are like brothers they grew up together they were in b2k together their kids are calling each other uncle you know what i'm saying so how do you go from being you know auntie april to being april who's fucking you know my dad like it just doesn't make any sense why she's just messing with somebody so close to home that situation where like everybody's speculating about you and Fizz. I don't know. Like he literally is someone that has been around when Omari was not there for me and did not support me. But he friends with your baby daddy. So. He's not real friends with the father of my kids. He does business with the father of my kids. It's different. He's someone that literally has helped me out of my depression, has given me money, helped me just I mean, a friend. Saying that, but, you know? You know, they looking at it like y'all. But you know, I don't live my life for other people. You know? It's just like with me and you. Yeah, you're someone that is a really a good friend of mine, you know, someone that all has always looked out for me. It's like people speculate that we've had sex. But we haven't. Not yet. You know, I always say not yet because it's a possibility that maybe one day we could. Wow. <laughs> I get that they're friends. I get that, you know, you're lonely. They have a lot in common. But there's certain boundaries that need to be respected. And in the meantime, Omarion is still ignoring her ass. You know what I'm saying? Not paying her any mind. But this entire situation is crazy. One person who refuses to ignore them is Monice, okay? So Monice definitely had something to say about the situation. Go ahead and check this out. So when it went viral, Monice says, Finally the truth. The truth I can respect. The involuntary lying to my face is what will turn me back into the old me. Because, see, a blatant lie is worse than saying nothing at all, especially when I didn't ask. The lie is also an insult to my intelligence. So that is what Moniece had to say. And you can hate or love Moniece. I like her personally on this show. She's funny. She's shady. You know what I'm saying? She does start a lot of mess. But, you know, that's Moniece. She's been like that from day one. But hate her or love her, Moniece be speaking the truth. And Moniece was calling this out months ago when people were attacking her and going off on her and saying that she's just jealous, she's just a hater. And Moniece was saying... April is fucking my baby's dad. April and Little Fizz are messing around. And folks dismissed everything Monice was saying. And now everything that she came out and said months ago is now coming to pass. My fault. I'm not even mad at April. Neither one of them niggas owe me an explanation about who they fuck, even if it's each other. That's never my concern. My concern is this. If that's your best friend, tell your best friend to stay in her fucking place. If that's your best friend, Stop letting her listen to our conversations. Stop putting me on speaker. Stop sharing our family business with your motherfucking best friend. And then sending her into the lion's den to chastise me about my motherhood. But if that's the bitch you're fucking, you're living with, you're planning a future with, and we're all going to be the Brady Bunch and co-parents, then absolutely, I'm willing to sit down and have the conversation. But that conversation can't be had until niggas want to be up. Congratulations are in order for April Jones and Teeny Fizzle Pop on the announcement of their relationship slash fuckship. Congrats on moving into the new house together. Congrats on potentially getting married and having kids and I could not wish for a better stepmother um, for my son just be a little more respectful and mind your fucking business
So this entire situation is crazy. I understand that April wants fame. She wants people to, you know, know her for her music and everything else. But the way she's going about it is just not a good look. She's coming off as ratchet and desperate, and I can't respect that. Also, you couldn't even get a celebrity the way y'all want to sit here and talk shit. Oh, celebrity. Yeah, I'm a celebrity because I fucked the celebrity and because I became what y'all thought I wasn't going to become. Oh, yeah. So let me just say that. Yes, I'm a celebrity because Omari I fucked this pussy and I had two kids by him. And now Little Fizz wants to fuck this pussy. And because I'm a celebrity. And because the gang wants to fuck this pussy. And because ASAP wants to fuck this pussy. And because all these guys love this fat squat. So anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning April Jones, honey, back on the blogs for being ratchet. Uh, Monice not letting the shit go. And then supposedly a lot of the main cast members getting acts from Love & Hip Hop Hollywood. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation. Will you be tuning in this season? And do you agree with me that April is doing all of this for a storyline and she's doing this for attention? She's trying to act out so Mona doesn't ax her, okay, off the damn show. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces.